these are women who've made different choices, who have turned down deals, mainstream record deals, because they wanted to keep their authentic voice, they wanted to keep their integrity, they wanted to keep their clothes on or off, they wanted to make their decisions and not be told like what to wear, what to do, what to say. This has been a social justice movement as well, right? <laughs> It was about honoring Betty Davis, who was an amazing funk icon, been really born before her time, like many of us. You know, just, she owned her sexuality. We've all been affected, not just by her, not just her music, but just her story and her non-story. This happens to women a lot. Women who are before their time, women who are trailblazers, and I know the women who are that now. The rock and roll is just the blues sped up, right? And so. That's what we are. Like, black women are the blues sped up. And we just don't get those spaces. And I can't wait for the Bay Area to see these women like take over these stages. And um, you can see that their whole heart is in this movement. I think that's what Betty was. Black women rock is a kind of corrective. We're expanding the public's imagination, not only of the origins, of the music, but also who we think about or who we should be thinking about when it comes to rocking and when it comes to America. Lightning, Hopkins. Talk about it, talk about I'm talking it. about it.